Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out another one of our videos. We want to apologize for not posting lately. We're in the process of moving our store and things have been a little bit hectic with that. Uh, we actually are taking some footage, so we're going to show you guys the entire move. Uh, so uh, yeah, so you can look forward to that. Um, but like if you enjoy the content of this video, subscribe if you're new to our channel. And with that being said, let's get into this video, guys. All right, so in this video, we are going to be talking about three nail types. Guys, as we always say, dogs vary, nails vary. Uh, so we're just showing you three different nail types that we come across and that I've come across personally in the 35 years of grooming. So we're going to talk a little bit about it. So the first one we're going to talk about is what we're going to refer to as the average nail. So this nail is basically the average nail. Uh, you might find this in a lot of mixed breeds, your shepherd mixes, your, you know, your border collie mixes, uh, even your poodles, your Bichons, your Shih Tzus. But when we say average nail, we mean that you know, the vein isn't too far out or it's not too tucked back into the nail shaft here. Um, and this nail is probably uh, one of the more easier nails to clip. Uh, again, this is what we're calling the average nail uh, because it's not too too far back where you have to make this big judgment call of where the vein is. And also it's definitely not too far, far forward towards the tip of the nail where you know that you know, you're going to have trouble and you can only cut so much off. Um, but with this nail, again, um, you, know, you can still cut off a nice portion of, of nail and uh, you know, if you want to hit it with the grinder afterwards, uh, that, that, that nail is probably what we would say is maybe the easiest nail to kind of determine where the vein is. Not so much clipping the nail, but where we could determine where the vein is. And it's usually very visible too. Uh, so with that being said, we're going to leave that one there, the average nail. So second, we're going to go down here and uh, we're going to call this one the dagger. Uh, and uh, this nail you're going to find in some of our videos in our nails too long videos uh, where where the nail just grows excessively long uh, and the vein doesn't and uh, you know you'll find this nail a lot in say like Westies your Jack Russell Terriers even like your Chihuahuas uh, dogs that like to dig a lot these terrier breeds the smaller breeds that like to dig a lot rat dogs rat terriers they're they're more than likely going to have this type of nail. Um, and when you're clipping this nail, it, it's actually very satisfying because this is the nail where you can get that big chunk of nail off. And, and uh, you'll, you'll see that in a lot of our videos uh, when nails get too long. Um, and uh, in this nail, a lot of times what happens is because the, the vein isn't consuming the nail shaft too much, this part of the nail becomes very calcified and very hard. So, you know, the, you're really going to kind of use a lot of force and clip through that nail and again, just get big chunks of nail off. Uh, one of the problems with this nail, though, is because the vein is so set far back, sometimes you kind of want to go a little bit further and further trying to figure out where the vein actually is. And then you end up hitting it anyway because you're just trying to go too short on it. But again, we're just going to call that the dagger and the nails that just get way too long. Uh, again, you have to address these nails though because if they get too long, as you'll see in some of our videos, it starts twisting the digit. So very important that we keep these nails um, nice and uh, trimmed and, and on a regular basis. Uh, where, you know, once a month, once every couple of weeks, you want to cut those back. These nails also grow very quickly too. Okay, so after that, we're going to get to this one. And uh, we're going to call this nail the all-consuming nail or the nail that sucks. I'll be honest with you guys because this nail is the scary nail. Uh, th this nail is probably the one that, that groomers fear cutting the most. And it, it's obvious. It's because this nail is just all consumed by the vein. Um, you're going to see this nail a lot in, say, like your Sharpays, uh, your Weimaraners, your Chow Chows. Uh, you know, even like your, your English Bulldogs. I've seen this a lot even in like Dalmatians. And uh, it, it, this, this nail is just, it's a little jarring. Uh, you'll notice this nail a lot because especially if it's a clear nail, you're going to see that it's very pink. It's a very pink nail. And, uh, and, and again, the vein is right to the tip. 
and uh, you want to be really, really careful trimming this nail. Uh, a lot of times these breeds, uh, not to single out any breeds, but a lot of time these types of breeds, they really hate their nails being done because it's very, very sensitive. Um, the nail is actually very, very soft. Uh, it, it's hard to describe, but it's almost like you were clipping through like maybe like a soft candy, like a jelly bean or something like that. If you took a nail clipper and you cut through a jelly bean, that's what this feels like. It's very, very soft, very, very sensitive to the dog. Unlike, of course, the dagger where, you know, this they're, they're not feeling this too much again because there's so much calcification in this nail and there's next to none here. Um, in a lot of cases, I would almost opt to not even clip this nail and maybe just file it or grind it. Uh, you might have a better result, uh, especially if the dog is that sensitive and they just hate their nails being clipped. And in some cases with a dog like this, you may not even need to do it at all. Um, again, this nail is probably the most dangerous nail to clip. So please be careful and look out for this. Uh, if you see that the nail again is just all pink, um, and the dog is sensitive, and, and, and if you trim just a little bit, and you still may make the dog bleed. Um, and God forbid you should cut a lot of this nail. This nail will bleed excessively. It's gonna bleed really, really bad, and it's gonna be very, very painful to the dog. Un unlike you know, the average nail and the dagger nail here, where you know, if you hit it, it's not gonna be as bad. You know, you, you're still gonna have uh, you know, some bleeding occur, but this one's gonna bleed a lot and uh, uh, very, very painful to the dog. So just be careful with that. And I, I think the purpose of this video really is to kind of just warn you about that one. Um, so we just wanted to definitely uh, demonstrate three types of nails that we see here all the time and uh, just determine what type of nail your dog uh, may have or you groomers out there, what type of nail you're working on. And uh, a lot of you veteran groomers will know what I'm talking about with that guy right there. Guys, with that being said, we're gonna end this video. Again, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe. If you like the content, give us a big like. And until next video, thank you very much.